Hello, this is Mr. Huff. Let's take a look at the change in runoff rate. And this formula is pretty straightforward. Some of the questions will just give you a pre-runoff rate and a post-runoff rate, and you find the difference between them. It's typical when you improve a site that you increase the runoff rate because you're usually replacing bare ground or vegetation with buildings and sidewalks and that sort of thing that don't uh, that don't retain the water as well so you contribute to an increase in runoff and a lot of um, building uh, site regulations they do not let you increase the runoff rate so one of the things you have to do is figure out what your runoff rate increase is going to be and then figure out ways to manage that by increasing your vegetation or adding holding tanks or setting up ponds and that's some sort of bioretention or something like that. So um, another thing you need to recognize is you could also have represent the Q post and Q pre with the runoff rate formulas as shown. So you could replace Q post with this and Q pre with this and it would still be valid. So I am going to give you practice problems doing both. So let's look at a practice problem where we're using the long form. If you look right here, I am using a, an area that my site is 0.8 acres, and this is a 25 year storm design. So we're using a factor, an adjustment factor of 1.1, and then, or is that a 10 year? Well, let's go look. Yep, that's 25 years. 10 year is just one. Okay, so this is a 25 year design adjustment factor. I found that the precipitation intensity for the site is 1.12 using National Weather Service data for my design storm. And I looked at what we had before we improved the lot and after we improved the lot. So we went from a 0.25 to a 0.6 coefficient for our runoff. So what we're solving for is the change in runoff rate measured in cubic feet per second. And this is my formula here. So I'm going to use the long form here to the right. When we plug all this into our calculator, we're going to take CF times C2 times I times A minus CF times C1, the coefficient of runoff before we improve the site, times I times A, and we will get a change in the runoff rate of 0.3449 cubic feet per second. Uh, when you do these calculations for me because of the range I have set up, give me four important numbers just like this and you'll be just fine. If you were to round this to 0.3, you would probably get it wrong, so don't round your answer. Uh, you can round that fourth digit, but not the first one. So, Anywho, that's what you would have to do now. Uh, you, you would have to look at your site plan and figure out how you're going to improve the runoff uh, rate by reducing the amount of runoff by adding some sort of features that would accommodate this kind of runoff. Okay, that's what this is used for. All right, that's all I have for now. Thanks. Have a great day.